In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove that a molecule exists using orbital interaction diagrams, and uh, I will cover other methods as well. So let's start with diatomic hydrogen. Uh, hopefully you have an idea of whether diatomic hydrogen exists in the real world, but we are going to prove that here. So the first thing I would do is draw an energy scale um, which will be important in determining whether orbitals are higher energy or lower energy. It's important to remember that when atomic orbitals combine, they combine to form molecular orbitals, and that's what we're going to see here. In diatomic hydrogen, these two atomic hydrogen orbitals with one electron each combine to form a sigma bond orbital, and a sigma star anti-bonding orbital. By looking at the periodic table, you would see that each hydrogen atom has one electron, and they're both going to go down into the bonding orbital. Now, each electron in the bonding orbital uh, contributes to 52 kilocals per mole gained, which means for two electrons, this molecule has 104 kilocals per mole gained. There is no destabilizing charge because there are no uh, electrons in the antibonding orbital which would contribute to some sort of uh, destability or instability. Um, but in this case, there is no electron in that antibonding orbital. So we can use this uh, orbital interaction diagram to prove that diatomic hydrogen exists. We can also do so with uh, by calculating bond order. So the formula for bond order is the number of bonding electrons minus the number of antibonding electrons divided by two. Let me make that a little more clear. And in this case, that is two because of the two electrons in the bonding orbital right here minus zero because of zero electrons at the antibonding orbital divided by two which is equal to one which means that one sigma bond is formed therefore diatomic hydrogen exists we can look at another uh, slightly more complicated molecule and try to prove whether it exists or not. So let's look at helium, or more specifically, diatomic helium. We're going to start with the same first step by drawing the scale to which we can compare uh, the energy levels of specific orbitals. So we will draw the individual helium atomic orbitals at the same level to indicate that they have the same amount of energy. And again, with two atomic orbitals, we're going to form two molecular orbitals, one bonding and one antibonding. Now, an atom of helium, helium has uh, two electrons. So in total, we have to distribute four electrons in between the bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals. If we do that, you'll see that both the molecular orbitals, both bonding and antibonding, are going to have two electrons each. So if we try to calculate the bond order using the same formula as above, we get zero. Therefore, diatomic helium 
does not exist.